Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to turn a pin from a piece of wood sent to me by John LaCourse. Now this piece of wood I received maybe two months ago uh, from John and he had it marked cedar uh, but since then we've corresponded via email and he said that he thought it might be juniper. I'm going to say that unmistakable, incredible smell of cedar. I really think this is a piece of cedar. And just take a look at the wood. It's got some gorgeous grain in it. Look at that. Is that beautiful? So what we're going to do today, it's about an inch thick. We're going to cut a blank, get it milled up, and get it ready to turn into a pen. I've roughed out the dimensions of the blank, and I just want to head over to my bandsaw and get it cut out of this board. For this cedar blank, I'm going to be using a 7mm pin kit. Now this is the line where I split the blank in half, and this line here designates the center of the blank. I've already chucked up one half of the blank, and the center is up. I always like to drill from the center first, that way if you go off a little bit, when you put your pin together, the two center pieces should match up pretty closely since you started from the same point on each blank. Before inserting my tubes into my blanks, I've gone ahead and lined them up with the center hash mark facing the tubes, and I'm just going to test fit to make sure there aren't any obstructions. This is something I've gotten the habit of doing lately, and it's really saved me from uh, poking a tube into a pin and not being able to get it all the way into the, into the blank because there's something in there, a little piece of wood or something, uh, preventing it from seating all the way. I'm just going to tap this below the surface. There's one blank. I'm going to set this aside. And now the second blank. I tell you what, I've got plenty of CA glue right here on the mat. We'll go ahead and pick some of that up. There we go. Quite a bit of glue there. So that's good. Get it just below the surface. And we'll set this aside and let it dry. Everything went really well with this blank. There were no issues. And I'm going to go ahead and use my normal method of barrel trimming to trim these blanks down to the tubes. This blank turned out really nice. I love the grain in the front blank, but just take a look at the back blank, back where this inclusion was. 
That's just amazing. It's going to make a really beautiful pen. Time to get this baby sanded up. I've got my blank sanded down to 600 grit. I've replaced my turning bushings with my non-stick bushings and I'm just cleaning the blank with a little denatured alcohol. I gave the blank a few minutes to dry and now I'm ready to apply my first coat of CA. Right off the bat, you can see that this blank is going to be stunning when it's finished. I will apply four more coats of thin, and then I'll apply somewhere between three to five coats of medium CA, and we'll check the blank and make sure it looks good before we continue on with the micro mesh. The CA has dried on my blank. I ended up putting five coats of thin and three coats of medium. It looks really nice. I've got a great surface. What I'm going to do is get my turning bushings back on the lathe and then we're going to micro mesh this down to 12,000. When I micro mesh over a CA finish, I generally use my older pads that are a little more worn out. The newer micro mesh pads will be a lot more aggressive and tend to take more of the CA finish off. These let me more, do more polishing than removal. I don't like to spend a lot of time scrubbing the blanks. The objective is not to remove the glue, it's to clean the surface up, smooth it out, and get it ready to take a polish. This buffing wheel really brought the shine up on this blank. What I want to do now is I'm going to take and put the blank back in the lathe and I'm going to run a little bit of my Plastex polish over it. And the reason why I'm going to do that is this is a rouge. It's used for removing scratches and the buffing wheel really puts a nice luster on it. But I'm not sure how long that will last. So I want to put something on it to kind of help protect that. And we're going to use a little Plastex polish. Is this the right way to handle this? I really don't know. But we're going to give it a try and we're going to see what happens. Tell you what. It certainly looks beautiful. I absolutely love this end of the pin. What I think I'm going to do, this is a slimline kit, so the bushings are the same from end to end. I think I'm going to make this the cap of the pin and this the nib because I just love the grain in the end of this blank. Let me get it off the lathe. We'll get it over the bench and let's get this assembled into a kit. I've got everything laid out and ready for assembly. This is the end with the beautiful grain. I'm going to go ahead and put the nib into this end of the pin. Put our cap through the back of the clip. Go ahead and line it up on the back end of the pin. I'm going to get her started and then I'm going to take a quick peek at this and decide, well, I'll tell you what, there's really, that's probably about the best spot for it. Well, you know what, let's flip it over to this side because it's a little more interesting over here. There's a lot more grain. Always take a look at your pen and look for the best possible place to 
uh, put the clip because you don't want to hide any of the beauty of the wood. You want to show as much of that as possible. There we go. That looks really nice. Let's go ahead now and let's get one of let's get the transmission pressed into the pin. One more block. There we go. I'm just going to start the transmission just part way in. I never like to put it all the way in because I like to test fit my ink. Ooh, that's nice. It looks like we could just use a tiny tap, just ever so slight tap forward. Okay, let's try that. I still think I'm a tad bit shy. Okay, let's do it now. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and put the center band on. That really turned out to be a gorgeous pen. Look at that. That wood just has so much color to it. The red is so deep. Absolutely love the pen. I'd like to start off by saying a special thank you to John for sending me this gorgeous wood. I absolutely love the grain and the color is just so deep red. It polishes up so beautiful and makes an absolutely stunning pen. Thank you, John. I truly appreciate you sending me some of your private stock. For everyone else, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. You come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful evening.